Greetings and salutations, Titanium Tim, 18, here in beautiful Titusville, Florida. And I'm outside one of my properties over here, and you see that unit right there? I know what you're gonna say. Ah, oh, Tim, you're gonna bitch about something else. Well, you're right, I am, and here's why. Because this is baloney, okay? See this? This is a train XR. Nothing works like a train and nothing stops a train, right? Wrong. Okay, this house was built 2019. That unit was installed 2020. This was the end of 19, that was installed at the beginning of 20, okay? Six months ago, which was the middle of 2022, the early part of 2022, the condenser unit inside, or the A-frame inside, the unit that's inside the closet in there is shaped like this and has a filter in the bottom. Well, guess what? It started leaking Freon. One day in the uh, early part of May, June, it was kind of hot. The house wouldn't go below 78, and it was struggling running all the time at that, and I knew something was wrong because I had it on 74. So I called the AC guy that installed it, it's an air conditioner company here in Titusville. Called them and they came out. He diagnosed it, says low on Freon. So he goes inside with a sniffer and he says, uh, your A-frame is leaking, we gotta replace it. I said, well, it's gotta be under warranty. It's less than two years old, a year and a half old. He said, oh yeah, the part's under warranty, but it's gonna cost us $800 to replace it. Now hold on, this unit came with a house. The whole unit was package deal and it was expensive. Now, it comes with a five-year warranty on the stuff inside and a 10-year out here, okay? No problem. So, I proceed to yell and scream and jump up and down and bitch and moan and piss and whine. Made no difference. He said it's $800. The part's free, but it's $800 to replace it. So, I got a unit that's less than two years old, and I have to shell out $800 to fix it. Train, you suck. Okay, so here's what I did. I had him fix it. Gave him the money. The guy was out here an hour and a half. Okay, I know it's not the hammer. It's where you know knowing where to hit it. I understand that part. But $800 is still cheap, steep for an hour and a half. Anyway, I digress. So I got a letter from them saying that unit was installed a year and a half ago. The A-frame was leaking. It was a factory defect right there at the solder joint. Factory defect. Matter of fact, it was more than one. Okay? But it was a small leak. It was two or three small leaks. It was two little tiny leaks. But he sniffed them out and found them. So they gave me the piece of paper. So I got all the information off of the unit inside. Code number, serial number, model number, year number, all this stuff. I put all that in an email to train. And I said, here's what happened. I should be reimbursed for the $800 because this is a brand new unit. Well, train wrote back and said, sorry, you're out of luck. Okay. Now, what kind of bullshit customer service is that? Okay, unit's 18 months old, and I gotta pay $800 to fix it. Now, the interesting part is, I'm not the only one. There's another one down the street here. Exact same thing happened. Only they had to pay $1,200. Why the difference, I don't know. And I was over having some minor surgery done, and the guy that was taking my blood was on the phone with his AC guy complaining like heck, and I said, what's going on? He said, nah. I bought this train unit about two years ago, he said, and now the, the thing inside's leaked out all the Freon, it won't get cold, and I gotta pay $1,000 to fix it. I said, huh, that's interesting, which was it? He said it was a train XR. So, customer service message. If you have a train XR, watch your back. I will never, ever, ever again buy a train unit. Train, you're despicable. 18 months and I had to pay $800 to fix a factory defect. Oh, sure, the A-frame was free, the part was free, that was $650, but it was $800 to replace it. Why should I pay to replace something that was your fault, a factory defect, less than two years old? So, customer, beware. Buyer, beware. Train XR, you suck, okay? And train, you suck. I resubmit that paperwork three times, and three times, you know what they told me? Eh, sorry, we're not going to help you. So train, I may only buy another one or two of these in my lifetime, but I'm going to make sure that everybody I talk to knows what a piece of crap train is and buy something else, anything else. 
Hell, a cheap Japanese Chinese one would have lasted longer than this piece of junk. So, buyer beware. If you got a Train XR, watch your ass. If you need to buy a new air conditioner, do not buy a Train. Not only are they not very good, but they don't stand behind. There's no customer service. I called and talked to a guy. I called and talked to several people. And they all told me the same thing. Yeah, you got to submit an email. I said, but I'm telling you, what do I need to do? Well, we can't tell you. Go to the email. It'll explain it there. I did everything they asked me to do three times. And three times they said, huh, sorry about your luck. Well, you know what, Train? Sorry about your luck. I'm doing this video, and I tell everybody that will listen to me what a piece of junk this train has been and how a train treated me as a customer. Now, they paid good money for that unit, and I had to buy another condenser for the inside, A-frame, whatever the heck they call it. That's despicable. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Uh, da, da. Just wash my mouth and can't do a thing with it. I said, be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And always remember and never forget. It's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with it. Now, that money wasn't the end of the world. I can make more money. That's not the point. The point is that everybody's got their hand in your pocket and you're not getting any customer service anymore. And that's a shame. Okay, guys, I'm going to check out. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.